Hello YouTube. You are looking at Super Luminova on a very large, well-detailed watch. There's a little dollop of loom on the second hand, which is right now at midnight, approaching one o'clock. You can see it barely. The uh, Arabics at 12 and 6 are really big, but all the other indices are these apparently little dots. It's not great loom, okay? So Super Luminova, I guess, doesn't really live up to its name. All right, what do we have here? The mystery's over. This is a very large but well-detailed Elini Barocas Commander. Now, you don't see the word commander anywhere on the front, but it does exist on the back, and we'll show you that when we get to the case back. This is a big watch. It's 50 millimeters. And because it's square, and this is far more square than cushion shape, because it's square, you get all of that 50 millimeters, like almost corner to corner. Big watch. Um, boy, it's got rose gold plating. And what I call Art Deco detailing on the sides. I don't know if it's showing up, but the outside of the ribs are polished. And everything else, I'm not going to say brushed, because I don't see any brush marks, but it might be lightly blasted for that satiny finish. I love the Art Deco detailing on this. Really. It... Um, has a thin aluminum unidirectional bezel that feels like 120 clicks. This was this watch came to me via my brother. He gave me four watches in a trade. This is the second of those. You've seen one of them. And so, to be honest, I would never have bought a 50 millimeter watch. But boy, I'm glad he gave this to me because when I put it on, I love the way it feels. And that surprises me. I'm the guy who said, you know, 43, 44 was my sweet spot. But boy, this just really surprised me. There's a unique feature here on the dial beside the light cross hatch. It's not cross hatching, it's hatching that you see on the dial. And that is the day, the date window. On the right, the day is obviously framed in red. But on the left, it's clearly the mirror image of that. They skeletonize the frame, I believe, just for symmetry, because you can't really read them. Oh, I'm good at reading upside down, but it's not really meant to be read on the left side. It's merely there for balance. So that's an interesting feature. It, uh, it really is. We talked about the big Arabic, Arabic numerals at uh, 12 and 6. They didn't go nuts with... Uh, you know, further uh, demarcations between the seconds, you know, like who, who wants a fifth of a second, you know, um, out there on the chapter ring. I don't know whether to call that seconds or minutes because they're both in 60 increments. It's the same thing. You see at the top of the bezel, that triangle, there is a dollop of loom up there that didn't uh, charge up on my solar charger. You see these recessed hexagonal bolt heads that tighten down that frame? Boy, let's talk about the crown. It is a screw-down, two-position signed crown. With some graphic there. Maybe it says C for Commander. It is... Let me get you the thickness here if I can find it on my notes. It weighs 189 grams. This is no lightweight watch. No lightweight watch. It is, uh, you know, I can't find it, but I thought I, oh, 16 and a half millimeters thick. And it is every bit of that. Let's take a look at the back side. And here's where you see the word commander. Illini Barrocas Commander. And a bunch of numbers. And this it talks about the Safatec crystal, which is a proprietary trade name for their particular crystal. It does have a Swiss made movement. I even have the number on it. It's an ISA 8172. And to be honest, I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what it means. The uh, 
hour hand and the minute hand are skeletonized near the pivot, but they're framed in red, which is a really nice touch, uh, near their pointy ends. The uh, minute hand goes all the way out to the numerals at the chapter ring, and maybe that hour hand is just a little short. Okay, maybe it's just a little short. Um, it has a supple, very comfortable silicone strap, and the strap width up here is a full 30 millimeters, and it has a signed tang. Elini Barrocas. Okay, Mr. Barrocas is Greek, I believe. Okay. I thought this was the Eni, Elini Barrocas, but it's the Elini Barrocas Commander. They're all Elini Barrocas's. Okay, let me just quick scan of my notes. I think I've hit everything I have to say. Now, you know, I I saw that when this came, I have to tell you, I saw it, I said, oh my God, I'm never going to wear that. And then I put it on, and I was, boy, I was surprised at how comfortable, not only how comfortable it felt, but how well it felt, how well it wore. Now, remember, I wear my watches upside down on the bottom of my wrist, and I think because of that, these larger watches, for me, wear uh, uh, just a lot more nicely and discreetly, and uh, they're less out in your face as if they were on the other side. All right, I'm going to stop saying that. I know you don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to keep hearing that from me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I talked about the bezel, but I didn't tell you how it's nice and stout. It's not loose. There's no back, back, you know, uh, back jog on it when it doesn't, it's, it stays put and it's uh, got a positive click on it. And it's, uh, it, it might be a little thin, but you know, <laughs> and maybe, a maybe a, a broader one would have looked better. There's a lot of real estate here to play with. Now the date is... A little small. Um, you know, for a watch this big, well, we're in double digits there on the right. On the left, you can see single digits, and they probably read just fine. All right, that's it. The Alini Barocas Commander. Did we look at the back? Yeah, and I showed you where it said Commander in a bunch of numbers. There you go. I'm happy to have it. Part of a trade with my brother Tom. Rose gold plating. Looks really nice, the black and the, and the rose gold. This is not a real pink rose gold. It's got more yellow in it, but I like it. Uh, and the, the same tone is on the bezel as well, the numerals on the bezel. Okay, everybody, that's it. God bless you. I love you all. One more watch here. Bye-bye.